We're excited about the publication of a, uh, of a research project we've been working on for a few years uh, that uh, I guess in a nutshell we could call the oldest archaeological site here in North America. For the last several decades, it's been considered fairly settled that the earliest humans to set foot in the Americas arrived no earlier than about 15,000 years ago. Now a recent paper published in the scientific journal Nature is calling that fact into question. The discovery of a far older mastodon skeleton holds clues that seem to suggest that ancient humans arrived in North America over 100,000 years earlier than previously thought. In 1992, while road crews were excavating to build a sound berm along Route 54 near San Diego, they stumbled across an assortment of ancient fossils. When paleontologists arrived at the site, they discovered the remains of a variety of extinct animals, including the dire wolf, mastodon, and ground sloth. According to uranium dating, the site dates all the way back to about 130,000 years ago. While an exciting archaeological site in its own right, what really made this discovery intriguing was the fact that primitive stone tools were also found among the remains, and that a mastodon skeleton bears markings and fractures that indicate it was deliberately broken apart. One tusk even appears to have been stuck upright into the ground, something that would be difficult or impossible for a mastodon to achieve on its own. So what does that mean? Initial findings at the site indicate that some ancestor of modern humans, possibly Homo erectus or the Denisovans, had arrived and lived in the Americas for at least a short while, over 100,000 years earlier than previously thought. John McNabb, an expert on stone tools at the University of Southampton, said his first reaction to the news was, no, this is wrong. Something's wrong. I didn't believe it. The site was determined to be an ancient lake bed, a likely site for a small tribal home those many years ago. This is a monumental discovery, because currently the oldest widely accepted site containing evidence of early Americans dates back to just 13,000 years ago. With such a drastic shift in the proposed understanding of early human history, many experts have challenged the claim. One proposed explanation is that ancient humans scavenged the remains of the mastodon some thousands of years later, as opposed to dismantling the skeleton 130,000 years ago. This assumption would require the ancient people to have exhumed the skeleton for reasons unknown, which has never been observed before. This excavation would have left telltale signs in the sediment layer in which the site was discovered, but no such signs were present. Additionally, the mastodon bones appear to have broken and fractured in a way that suggests it was done while the bones were still fresh. Researchers made their own stone tools and smashed elephant bones to judge the similarity of the breaks in the mastodon skeleton, and determined that it is indeed plausible that some ancestral humans dismantled the skeleton the proposed 130,000 years ago. Another challenge posed by skeptics is the decided lack of similarly ancient sites between the age of the San Diego Highway location and the current sites of roughly 13,000 years old. This is a valid concern, but only if we assume that there is a direct line of descent from the older humans to the more recent ones. The most likely explanation is that the humans at the older site were an isolated group that likely died out long before the main passage to the Americas. That would mean that there would be very few, if any, other similarly dated sites. Another possibility is that, since this discovery is the first of its kind, researchers haven't been looking in the right rock layers to find similar specimens. Perhaps now that one such example has been uncovered, paleontologists will turn their attention to older layers and find more remains. One final point of contention is the fact that there were no human remains discovered at the San Diego site. This is not a particularly troubling lack, because the mastodon remains very clearly show the evidence of purposeful dismantling by stone tools. In any case, the lack of human skeletons can be explained any number of ways. The most likely being that the ones responsible for the mastodon skeleton simply moved on to another location before they died. There very well could be ancient human remains somewhere in the region, but of course only a very small percentage of dead things end up as fossils. And if the site was home to a small, isolated batch of forerunners, then there's little hope for finding anything. Despite rigorous attempts to disprove the age of the discovery, so far it seems to be the real deal. Tom Demaray of the San Diego Natural History Museum says, These patterns, taken together, have led us to the conclusion that humans were processing mastodon limb bones, and that this was occurring at the site of burial 130,000 years ago. John McNabb is right in assuming that most experts would like the site to be more thoroughly and rigorously studied, but the fact remains that if the California site does turn out to be accurately dated, it would upend our current understanding of human history and open up entirely new avenues of research. McNabb goes on to say, How implausible is 130,000? Well, maybe it's not completely impossible, but it's less of a filling in of a gap than an opening of a whole new chapter. If you'd like to learn more about this exciting discovery, check out the links in the description. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, follow Second Thought on your favorite social media, and leave a comment down below with how you think this could change our understanding of human history. You can watch my previous current events video by clicking here, or watch all my videos by clicking here. Thanks for watching.
and I'll see you in the next video.